The all-new Kimray Electric Actuator is designed to automate your control valves without overcomplicating your processes. I'm here with Product Manager Alex Crow. Alex, tell us a little more about how our actuator does this. Yeah, so the actuator uses the same four bolts as you would see uh, our pneumatic top works. And so it's really easy to install, same coupling block. Uh, actuator fits on all of our bottom works. Okay, Alex, so after it's installed on the valve body with the four bolts and the coupling block, what's next? Uh, let's take the cover off and check out the inside. So on the board itself, there's an OLED screen on there. Uh, it helps when you're installing this in the daylight, you can see it really well. Four push buttons, uh, follow the prompts on the screen, it'll help you install it and calibrate it. It's a really easy process. So after calibration of the actuator, uh, what's another key benefit to this? Uh, one of the main key benefits is the speed of the actuator. We're looking at half an inch per second. Um, it beats our pneumatic speeds, especially when you get to the bigger sizes. We almost double the speed on our pneumatic actuators. So the half an inch per second is factory set, but it's all changeable on the screen. So a lot of producers are trying to mitigate their emissions. Uh, how does this actuator do that for them? So this actuator is fully electric, 12 to 24 volts DC. Uh, you can supply it with line power, uh, solar panel battery backup package. We also have battery backup on, on this as well. Okay, so when it uh, loses power, does it use the onboard battery to continue working? It does, yeah. So the battery, whenever it reads 14 volts, it's going to go into that fail position, and that's all changeable on screen. Uh, fail safe, fail mid, fail open, zero to 100%, you can put it wherever you want. So after you bring in your power to the actuator, what communication types does it use? Uh, it uses Modbus. So if you have RS-485 on site, you can hook the wires up to it, uh, read from what it's doing live. You can write to it, change any of the parameters on site. Okay, and what about four to 20? Right, so it's got uh, one analog input and two discrete inputs. So you can put the four to 20 uh, also on and off control as well. Okay, so you can do like overrides to yeah, this actuator. Right, so factory it's set discrete to override. So if you do have an analog signal and you need a high or a low limit shutdown, it'll read that discrete and then it'll overtake that. Alex, thanks for the overview on this product. Uh, just keep in mind that you can use this electric actuator anywhere where you're using a high pressure control valve. So in applications like back pressure control, gas flow, liquid dump applications, or artificial lift. If you'd like more information on this electric actuator, contact your local Kimray store or authorized distributor.